Yo, what is up you guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we're going to be going over Captain America Infinity War, which is a really powerful champion. Now I didn't go over the synergy bonuses and signature ability in the last video. Now if you want to take the time to look at these, you can just pause the video. Now I believe Captain America is pretty signature dependent for him to be incredible. Um, so high signature. Um, and we'll go over it in the video. Alright, so we'll start off with the Mutant Synergy. Now with the Mutant Synergy, what it does is that it gives Mutants a prowess buff. And so now this prowess buff is passive, it's permanent, and it can't be nullified or consumed. Like for example with Bishop, who uh, basically works off of prowess buffs. Uh, now, all this does is gives uh, mutants a 20% increase in special attack damage. And on to the next one, we've got Mystic. So, Mystic, basically, when nullifying buffs, uh, they do or deal 30% direct damage of their attack rating. So, you can see those red numbers are from nullifying. Now, the problem with this synergy is that it's Doctor Strange, Thor Jane Foster, and Scarlet Witch uh, on the team. Now, I'm not saying they're bad champions, it's just that they're not the preferred Mystic champions. Um, so, I, I can still see Scarlet Witch being used in Alliance Quest um, with Captain America, but not Doctor Strange or Thor Jane Foster. Now, on to the next one. This is the Tech Synergy, which I believe probably caught the eye of a lot of people. So this attack synergy, it 100% power drains the opponent after they use their special attack. Now it's important to note that this isn't an immediate power drain, which is huge. Uh, it gives you basically more power drain than if it was just an immediate. So the way it works is that the opponent uses their special attack and as soon as the animation is over it power drains. So it gives you one hit uh, right after. Now this is huge for uh, nodes like Power Reserve and Spite. Spite specifically because in Alliance War I believe a lot of people time out because of having to bait so many special attacks. Now, the way it would work with Spite is that uh, while you're evading a uh, special attack, let's say you have an Iceman on that node, and you're trying to evade his SP1, he then gets an SP2, and while you're evading his SP2, he's still gaining power, uh, and so by the time you're going back in, he has another bar of power. Now, uh, with this synergy, when you would go back in, you would hit him once, give him a little bit of power, and then even if he's at two, three bars of power, it would power drain all his power uh, essentially giving you more time more uh, hits to hit him uh, without having to bait specials which um, if you're baiting specials over and over again it just it consumes a lot of time um, even though usually you bait the sp1 um, sometimes it's best to bait the sp2 for, uh, for uh, the sake of time now, as you can see with um, Age of Ultron Vision, uh, even though he he's only comes as a 4 star, I am in being very dominant in this fight, both uh, offensively and defensively, uh, not having to worry about his power at all. Now with OG Vision, now that he's out as a 5 star, uh, I can see him be used a lot with Captain America on that spite. Alright, so now on to the Science Synergy, which actually I think is uh, the second strongest. Now what it does is that it applies a 50% passive weakness, except when you're getting um, hits to the face. Now in this fight, I don't have it on just to show the degen damage, which is ticking at 322 per tick. Uh, which is a lot no matter where you're at, uh, especially in a 4 star, you're, you'll be uh, ticking uh, down life quickly. Now, uh, pair him up with Hulk or Hulk Ragnarok specifically, and you've got a freaking uh, castle, I don't know, like freaking iron wall. This guy can, uh, on top of having a ton of block proficiency, uh, now he can um, 
passively reduce the opponent's attack by 50%. So you can see there, uh, his degen damage went from 322 down to 161. Uh, essentially giving you uh, double the time of, uh, of however much time you would have originally survived, which I think is uh, a pretty big deal, especially uh, in Alliance 4 where now we're seeing rank 5s on defense. Alright, and so onto the signature ability. Now this one's with the Cosmic, and what it does is that it gives a pretty weak armor break with both time blocks. Uh, this is not too incredible. Maybe when you're uh, pairing Iceman, you'll get the armor break first. All right, on to the next one. We've got Mutant. So this one, uh, this one's uh, pretty nice to have uh, if you're questing, for example. So basically, after you launch a special attack, um, special attacks which consume all kinetic charges, you'll gain one back. So it's just a little bit uh, extra safety net. Alright, uh, next one this is the Mystic one. This is uh, probably one of the more underwhelming ones, um, but regardless, still good. Um, so, what this does is that once buffs expire, uh, Captain America gains a kinetic charge. Alright, on to the next one this is the Tech one. With well time blocks, uh, you apply 25% Petrify, which lowers uh, regeneration and power gain effects. So I could see this one being used in Lion's Sport with OG Vision, Sparky. Alright, uh, this is with the Science one, which synergizes really well with the um, Synergy. So on Well Time Blocks, you apply a 10% Weakness uh, debuff. Um, Again, I can see this uh, working really well with the last um, uh, bonus from the signature, which I think is going to be pretty powerful. So the only one I haven't mentioned is of course the skill. So with the skill one, what it does is that it purifies a debuff and this purify is immediate. So you won't see, let's say it, it's, a, it's a hundred second stun. You won't see the stun, you'll see the uh, the text which says stun, but uh, you'll purify it immediately. So the way I can see this being used is in an alliance war, let's say you bring in Hulk, Ragnarok, Captain America, and uh, last is uh, Blade. So Blade can cover all the dimensional beings. Uh, you got a Hulk Ragnarok for Dormammu's, and then let's say you got a Medusa as a boss. Now, normally, even with Blade, it is a difficult fight to take down Medusa War Boss as a rank 5. Probably timeout, actually. Now, with uh, Captain America, what I could see being possible is now a rank 5 5 star on boss. Um, on the boss node has about 10k attack which is a lot now if you have the reduced uh, the passive 50% uh, weakness that 10k goes down to 5k on top of well time blocks giving you 10% weakness and then not to mention the glancing which reduces uh, all critical hits and damage by 50% and offensive ability um, the other thing is that with the skill um, signature ability. Uh, what you can do is force her to uh, auto block. So essentially, as long as you have one kinetic charge, you could attack into her four times, or until she um, uh, she gets her auto block off, and essentially um, giving a bigger downtime to the auto block, and then blocking to get your in and a uh, pretty uh, simple fight so yeah that's it i i rate captain america probably like eight nine out of ten uh, i think he's really good he's gonna be really good in alliance war let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and thank you guys for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one peace